The three most common mistakes made when building a personal branding strategy. In order to maximize the potential gains from your personal branding, you need to make sure you're not making these three common mistakes. In this presentation, you will learn about these really common mistakes and some easy ways to fix them. 1. Not defining or catering your content to your target audience. It cannot be stressed enough that you need to clearly define your target audience by not committing to a target audience rather than having the presumed intended goal of trying to appeal to more people, you could actually be alienating potential followers. You cannot appeal to everyone, and if you are trying to, you're likely damaging the relationship with your true target audience. For this reason, not only must you commit to a specific demographic of people, you must always cater your content to them. Use the media that they use. Use the language that they understand and engage with them in ways that they want to be engaged with. Your target audience is quite literally the make or break of your brand. If you're not reaching them, they cannot allow you to be successful. 2. Being inconsistent. Consistency is key in many areas. Consistency includes simple visual things such as using the same fonts and color schemes. These are such little signs of professionalism and attention to detail that shows that you are serious. However, being consistent also includes sharing content of a similar nature that your audience will engage with. This does not mean that you should not try new things. Of course you should, but it still needs to be consistent within itself. For example, having a constant posting schedule at times when your audience is often online. The quality of your content also needs to be high. If you're posting low-quality content at a high frequency, you will likely have low engagement. Put time into developing your content and share good quality content with your audience. Not only are they more likely to engage with something that is of a higher caliber, but it also signals that you are reputable and care about your audience. It is always worth checking the analytics across platforms too. What works on Twitter may not work on Facebook, for example, and you may need to slightly alter your content across platforms. 3. Being hard to find. Is the purpose of your brand hard to find? Does your audience instantly know what you are about and what you're trying to achieve? Are your account names weird and not relevant to your personal branding? Do you have your social media set up in such a manner that it is search engine optimized? There is so much stuff out there. There's a jumble of voices, content, and brands taking up space in the online sphere. For that reason, your content needs to stand out. Having a strong personal branding strategy will ensure that it does. Chances are other brands are targeting your audience too. Therefore, you need your audience to find you and want to choose you and not your competition. In essence, you need to choose your audience and then create content that they will find and then engage with. The success of your personal brand lies in your content and media being consistent and visible for your audience. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.